back to our special bank <coughs> in your hand, the fintech revolution. I've been speaking with the creme de la creme of the fintech sector, as it were. I've been speaking with Janmajaya Sinha, V. Vaidyanathan, R. Gandhi, and Dilip Azdi. Well, the, the question I want from all of you is, how is the future going to look? To you, Vaidyanathan, first, uh, how will loans, uh, giving of loans change in the next two years? How much easier can it get? Okay, you asked for the future. The first change I see is that, uh, let me say for the last uh, 60 or 70 years, lending always happened to large corporates. And SME financing, consumer financing was a very small part. For information, SME financing was only 10% of Indian credit. Consumer financing is only 16% of Indian credit. Rest all has gone to large corporates or maybe to property private sector. Now, that is in a big change because every large lender, every small lender, every fintech is all talking about financing who? The SME and the small consumer. If you see this big trend changing up, I think in the next five years, you're going to see a dramatic shift in where it's coming. Second thing is the regulatory. Government has already said, I think RPA has already said that, you know, large corporates after 2020 can't borrow more than a, more than a billion dollars from, from banks and after that go to the bond markets. So that will also push more money to small entrepreneurs. Second thing that will happen is that we talked about data and how data is going to change a few things. But secondly is that in the next, uh, let me say, uh, th three years or so, the amount of uh, lending that will happen through all these alternative channels, not necessarily the traditional lenders, yes. is set for a huge change. It will surprise you. And many organizations which have not figured this, that, 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 that the game has changed uh, will uh, seriously have to worry. Okay. I would be very tempted to ask you, how much will the Indian credit itself change? At the moment, 110 lakh crore deposits and uh, uh, I think 70 lakh crores is going to private sector. The rest goes to government. Uh, the kitty itself will not be 110 lakh crore. It should be uh, several times. Definitely. Uh, I, I would definitely say that, you know, if you see the credit uh, size, size of India, we talked of 110 lakh crores. Certainly, I think that uh, over the next, you know, we've been seeing that. Next uh, two years. Yeah, like we've been saying well, that, that credit growth has not just been growing, as you know, for the last many years. Uh, credit growth is going to come back strongly mm. in the next three years. We know for many reasons. And in that strength, it's all going to come towards a small and the medium consumer. All right, I won't press you for a number then. Uh, uh, Mrs. Oh, if you want to press for a number, I'd say it's about 16% credit, 16 to 20% credit growth compounded over the next five years. Okay, well, last time around that created trouble, but I hope this time it's more stable. Uh, uh, Mr. Sina, at the moment, I think a max of 100 million people will be getting loans. But if you look at the number of people who can get loans, let me measure it by uh, the number of people who, uh, whom, say, a Colgate ser uh, uh, services. They look, or a, or a shampoo, uh, an FMCG company looks at India as at least 400 million people can buy their products. Do you see 400 million people being eligible for loans in two years? You know, I feel that the need for collateral with information will be reduced. And the usurious interest rates that money lenders charge, which are the basic form of lending in, in rural India, for example, will, become, uh, will, will be completely eliminated, but it takes a little bit of time because the force of inertia is always stronger than the force of change. You know, your habit is difficult. Yes, yes. The big change that is going to happen is that there are 670 million people under 25, mm. and they are growing up in a different India. So while we talk about two years, you know, in two years, frankly, you will not see that much. But in five to seven years, you will not recognize the landscape. You will not recognize it. You know, Roy Amera in 1960 had said that technology is always overestimated in the short term and underestimated in the long term. And you cannot imagine how right he is in the context of what you are asking. Which means we have to meet every year and discuss <laughs> where things are headed. Uh, 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 Mr. Gandhi, you know, where will be the biggest regulatory challenge? Will it be in KYC? Will it be in cyber, uh, cyber security? Uh, for the regulator, how do you see this uh, uh, change in two years? Where do you have to grow up? Yeah, cyber security is the most, uh, uh, in the more and more we digitalize, whether it is payments, loan, or whatever way we talk about, uh, security becomes a very, very important uh, concern for the regulators. And they, it will be a fight between um, security, vis a -vis convenience and comfort for the customer. There will be continuous demand because of the capability of the technology to deliver the services at the most speed, mm -hmm. convenience. Uh, it, there will always be a tendency to undermine security consideration. So that is where a regulator will be ever, ever be. Okay. Be ready to take the bad name. Standing firm on <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, Dilip, uh, for you, my question is, 
where do you see UPI? What is the next big uh, leap that UPI can possibly take? So, so, so the way we look at it right now, you know, we, the whole objective is we have 400 million smartphone users, right? You know, the whole objective, how do we reach out to first to this 400 million smartphone players? So if you look at the large players like Amazon, Flipkart, the e-tail players, we have social media players, we have uh, banks, uh, we have uh, wallet providers like Paytm, which is now in, uh, uh, participating in UPI bandwagon. So trying to reach out with the, all the partners with collaboration with the banks to reach out to this entire community of 400, uh, we expect to reach yeah, 400, 400 million, million in next uh, uh, three years' time. Okay, now that's a, a very big achievement if that were to happen. So that's uh, the word from our experts here. Uh, 400 million users within UPI itself, Vaidhiradhan believes that uh, you will be able to see credit growth grow at 16% and probably tw for 20% for, consumer. it is, consumer. for consumers. Exactly, for consumers. So that will mean, of course, doubling of the uh, uh, amount of loans given to consumers probably in the next uh, three years. Uh, my sense is it could be even more. Uh, 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 Mr. Janmadeya says that actually technology will be unrecognizable. You can speak about two years, but in five years, things will be completely unrecognizable in the way in which you give a loan and the way in which you probably take a loan or transact. But Mr. Gandhi worries that I hope everybody takes charge of cyber security. That will be the one thing which will perhaps uh, put regular speed brakes for the speed with which technology moves. Thank you very much for watching this special show.